Hi everybody, I thought I would just give you a short update about how I'm feeling and what my next treatments are going to be. This past week I have started to relapse and I am going back to the same condition that I was in before. So the doctor wants to do some more plasmapheresis and to help you understand what plasmapheresis is, basically it's a machine that looks like it looks like an ATM machine and they put they put something in your neck that's why I have these right here and it's called a portocath which was this this was in my neck it places in the jugular vein and goes down into my heart and what they would do is in the blue one blood would be taken out of my heart and go into the plasmapheresis machine and in the red one blood would return but it would return without plasma because plasmapheresis separates blood from plasma basically they're clearing my body of plasma and every time I have a plasmapheresis treatment they take away three and a half to four liters of plasma and replace it with something called albumin. Albumin is a donated form of plasma. So yay for all of you guys who donate plasma out there. And they clean, clean it and clear it and get it ready for people who need plasmapheresis. Everybody always asks me, what's it like to have the port in your neck, portocath in your neck? And I always told them, I feel like I have a pencil stuck in my neck. So when the doctor took it out, I asked him if I could keep it. Which is really weird because, I don't know, I'm just weird like that. And I'd always say, I feel like I have a pencil stuck in my neck. Man, this hurts. So when I got home, the first thing I did was measure it against a pencil. And this was my result. So this was in my neck. In, in my neck in goes into my heart. Tomorrow, because I'm having more plasmapheresis, I'm having a permanent one placed, which is going to be even bigger than this one. And so I'm having it placed at 7 a.m., so keep me in your prayers. Having surgery for that, um, to do that, to have a permanent one placed, it's got to be a lot bigger and um, it's going to be lower down into my chest and they're going to do some tunneling down through my jugular vein and they're going to tunnel down into my chest and get to my heart that way. I have this big IV in my hand because they took out my pick line which was infected and for my friends who don't know what a pick line looks like, I kept my pick line too! So for the purpose of education, for my friends, this is what a pick line looks like. It has, it has two things, and one, this one, I think, yeah, it was this one had food going through it, and this one had IV fluid going through it, and it, and it was, it goes like that, it places in my arm well, this way and goes to my heart so that that's why I have an IV in my hand because I don't have my pick line anymore and pick lines are basically permanent IVs I should also mention plasmapheresis is so much like dialysis and um, it just takes out the bad and um, I get good albumin put back into me. Not only is the albumin donated plasma, it has calcium and just different stuff that it, I guess my body needs after taking my plasma away. And um, each treatment takes between four and five hours. So for four or five hours, I'm laying in the bed, having blood sucked out of my neck and put back in. 
sucked out and put back in and it's very very exhausting and um, it's just uh, one of those things that I'm willing to go through if it helps me get better because it did help me get better last time and it helped my symptoms go down so my white blood cells and red blood cells and platelets platelets have been dropping again and because my white blood cells are so low I'm at extremely high risk of getting an infection so for you who see me on a Sunday or a Wednesday if I'm even like um, healthy enough to go this is what I'm gonna look like so if you need to recognize me and you're looking for me just look for the person that looks like they have a giant diaper stuck to their face I'm just kidding and it's stuck on my earring now <laughs> so plasma phoresis starts Thursday I'm having five rounds of that maybe more and after plasma phoresis I'm starting something called rotuxin which is a chemotherapy they're starting me on rotuxin to kill off the B cells in my body and my immune system because my immune system is attacking myself and my B cells are ca causing havoc so that's my physical update keep me in your prayers for tomorrow's surgery and just you know for all of you guys who for everybody else who has dysautonomia or autonomic failure hang in there and don't give up stay happy always always smile and find something to cheer you up okay so just one more thing I know you thought that was the end of the video but I just want to say thank you so much to my church family for praying for me and coming together and just going before God to lift me up in your prayers. And I truly believe that's why I'm alive today and not on life support anymore. And I just thank anybody else who's praying for me. Um, I just, you guys, you guys rock. And to see the church come together like that. It really touches my heart, and I don't think I can do it without prayer. It would be unbearable without the strength that God gives me. So, thank you guys so much for your prayers, and your prayers that are continued are very much appreciated.